Hello my dear children welcome to the online session of English literature class 7 poem palm tree by rabindranath tagore so in this video we will cover the poem written by rabindranath tagore that is palm tree the essence is so sweet words are simple and have a beautiful lyrical flow each of us must have felt the urge to fly in the sky at some point in our lives so does trees that stand at just one point for their whole life before starting to read and understand this poem written by ravindranath tagore let us know a few things about the poet ravindranath tagore revered as gurudev was born in kolkata india he started writing poetry from early childhood tagore was not only a writer but also a philosopher musician painter and educationist He founded the Vishwa Bharati University at Shanti Niketan in West Bengal. In 1913, Tagore was awarded the Nobel Prize for Literature. Yes, children. So before reading the poem, let us try to understand the meanings of the few words which are used in the poem. The first one is fronds. the meaning of fronds is compound leaf of a palm tree the second word is quiver the meaning of quiver is shake with fast movement the third word is shiver shiver is to tremble with excitement or fear the fourth word is sigh the meaning of this is a deep breath fifth word is pierce pierce means to cut or make way through the sixth word is soar its meaning is fly up bird high in the sky the next word is skirting the word of skirting is the meaning of skirting is being all around edges or enclosing so these were a few words uh, whose meaning you are supposed to know so towards the sky they spread their branches and yet they are rooted in one place now children let us read a poem where ravindranath tagore imagines that a tree wishes for something more so now let us just read the first stanza yeah now you can just see this first stanza it is made up of two sentences okay the first one the pair of four lines and the second one also of four lines now let us just see let me read the first stanza the palm tree stands on one leg sees past other trees into the sky he wants to pierce the cloud so gray and soar away but can he fly so here in the first stanza ravindranath tagore compares the palm tree to a single legged giant one leg okay so to a single legged giant taller than all trees nearby or taller than all trees in its vicinity past other trees okay that means this palm tree is taller than all the trees in its vicinity now the poet feels the palm tree has a longing or wish to go beyond the ceiling of the black clouds in the sky so he wants so he is here the palm tree he wants to go or pierce the cloud so gray that is the tree wants to go beyond the ceiling 
of black or grey cloud in the sky. It wants to fly away but sadly it has no wings. And in the last two lines you see and soar away but can it fly. So who flies? The birds. So now here the poet he compares that the tree wants to fly like a bird. But he puts up one question that but can he fly? So children as you can see that the first stanza has two sentences so here let us try to understand what two important things the poet says in the first stanza the first one is he talks in the first uh, in the first sentence he talks about the physical appearance of the palm tree and that is that the palm tree and he yes here's one more important thing he uses the poetic device that is personification human attribute is given to the palm tree that the palm tree stands like a human being okay so the palm tree stands so physical appearance it stands on one leg and in the second sentence the poet he talks about the wish of the tree and what is the wish of the tree the tree wants to fly okay and soar away but can he fly and who can fly the bird can fly so here the in the second sentence of the first stanza the poet says compares the tree that to a bird which can fly so that the tree it wants to fly like a bird and soar away but can he flies can he fly and then the poet even poses one question and that is but can he fly let us come to the second stanza so now let's see the second stanza yeah at length his wish he starts to spread around his head in big round fronds he thinks they are wings to let him roam away from home breaking all bonds so here we have one word fronds so the meaning of fronds is the long leaves of the palm tree so in the second stanza the poet feels that tree appears to be wishing to fly when it is moving in the wind. So he starts to spread around his head in big round fronds. That is the tree wishes that it wants to fly. Okay, when there is wind moving around. The tree might be thinking and how can it, how can it, he fly? can fly with the help of its fronds okay so the tree might be thinking its fronds are wings in the wind it appears to be trying to move them to fly so when the wind blows the tree thinks that its leaves its fronds are wings and it tries or it appears to be flying in the in the sky so here breaking all the bonds okay away from home so you know the tree okay it is placed in the ground in the soil it wants to fly away okay it wants to break all the bonds so now we come to the third stanza yes the third stanza the live long day the branches quiver sigh and shiver he thinks he flies in his own mind skirting the stars racing a fast across the skies so here in the third stanza yes the word quiver quiver means shaking vigorously sigh sigh is taking a deep breath shiver again shaking so now here we just see in the third stanza the poet thinks that palm tree to be endeavoring to fly beyond the sky here again the palm tree it wishes and it tries to fly beyond the sky 
मे बी इट इज़ फ्लाइंग बियॉन्ड द स्टार्स इन इट्स इमेजिनेशन स्कर्टिंग द स्टार्स रेसिंग अ फार्स अक्रॉस द स्काई सो दिस इज इन हिज ओन माइंड सो ट्री सो मे बी इट इज़ फ्लाइंग बियॉन्ड द स्टार्स इन इट्स इमेजिनेशन एज दो इट इज फ्लाइंग इट इज इमेजिनिंग द ट्री इमेजिन्स हियर वेन इट वेन इट्स ब्रांच मूव्स और वेन इट मेक्स अ साउंड साई मीन्स इट्स मेकिंग ए साउंड लाइक ह्यूमन बींग एंड शिवर अगेन मूविंग वेन ही थिंक्स दैट ही इज फ्लाइंग सो इट इज ऑल इन हिज इमेजिनेशन येस now we come to the next stanza the last stanza but when the wind is still at last and the leaves hushed back home word then he turns his thoughts and mother earth that gave him birth he loves again so finally here in the fourth stanza according to the poet the tree realizes okay it has the realization of its origin okay it realizes the truth that it is not a bird it is a tree okay and when this happens but when the wind is still at last when the wind star when the wind stops blowing okay it is still it is motionless and the tree hushed back homeward and the tree uh, and the tree and the leaves okay they or uh, they uh they look homeward and he turns and in his thought he thinks about the mother earth that is the mother earth has given birth to the tree that gave him birth he loves again and he realizes his uh, truth okay that it is a tree and it is not a bird okay so now let us just uh, let me just explain it again in the fourth stanza the poet he feels when the wind stops the palm trees effort to fly so now it stops okay it ceases its effort to fly it fronds do not move they do not the leaves and the leaves hushed back homeward the leaves the long leaves of the palm tree they do not move they become quiet and then the poet feels the subsiding of the action of the tree is symbolic of the realization that is the tree is realizing that it is a tree it is not a bird after the wind stops the tree appears to have realized that it belongs to the earth that is its mother and then it stands quietly and loves again okay back to the roots so here children uh, this poem uh, has a universal appeal why because we all we wish okay we long for something which we are not we want sometimes we feel that we want to be so and so like so and so but at last we realize that what we have what we are we should love that we should come back to our roots and we feel happy for that being that this realization is important so with this we come to an end of this beautiful poem written by ravindranath tagore thank you children